I'm back. I needed to answer a chat, which you have may have seen. Um, well, I added it here in the middle and made it all as compact as possible. We have a lot of stuff here, but the thing we didn't actually do right was this area here, because this was way too overpowered. So let's see about putting just two rockets here. Maybe we can keep the control a little better that way. Also the thing I'd like to watch is how far does this one gimbal. This one gimbals a half a degree and this one gimbals one whole degree. So that one is a little better at that. And we had enough power so I'm just gonna add this one. Which will be well, a lot better I think in keeping control. Um, that one, that one there, that one there. Yep, should be good. Oh, I see I mistyped something. So, let's see about the second flight and see if we can get this one into orbit. And that uh, don't we need. Mm, yeah, it's good enough. Let's see how much battery power we have with this craft. Out of some nice relaxing music. 24.50. Nice. Maybe we can even send a lot of data home, uh, which I really don't want to because it got a drop range. If you see here, it will only transmit 40% of the data, which is not good or not. No com defines. Oops, I think I deleted the antenna. Let's just edit, just in case. Okay, it has been added. I also added the material bay because I forgot. And let's see how much science we get at it. Yeah, we've got a transmission rate by this, from this one from just 20%. So if we transmit the data, we get a total of, and it drains our power also, 1.5. And we would have gotten seven. And this one will be worth 3, but if we transmit it, it will be 1.2, which is not very much, so, and this one is better, has a transmission rate of 100%. If it, actually, I, what I didn't do was this one, I think. EVA report. Okay, let's just store it. Oh, you know what, let's just transmit it. And let's try to get to the antenna. No, nope, can't at the moment. Then we'll do it later. Okay, for now. Turn on SES. Engine at 50%. Launch at 3, 2, 1. Oh, wrong way. Let's fuel up so we get a little more from the Gimbling engine. And go here. And just keep it there. So keep it there. Keep it at the 99. Let's start heading mission. Okay, it's going well, going nice and steady. Going Mac 1 at the moment, I think. Yep, Mac 1. Let's just keep it up. And we're getting some less control because we're going supersonic at a too low altitude. We actually need to start turning a little. That's better. 
need to turn towards the 90 degrees at the moment and trying to control the craft because the air is pushing us back we can't actually go further at the moment uh, air is getting thinner now it's getting a little easier and we need to turn over even more Okay, keep it there. Let's see what our maximum altitude is, almost 70. Yeah, we need a really different rocket design. But we need to do with the, end, with the parts we have. I'd like to get the sideward staging system, but we need more science for that. Eight hundred meters per second. I'm gonna stage in three, two. Oh, no, not yet. We need to go stage now. We got nice acceleration on this rocket, that's at least something. Got the acceleration of, I think, 1.5 Gs, which translates to 15 meters per second uh, acceleration. Which is very good. Okay, we're almost, all, uh, almost at orbital. Yep, we're in space, so we need to just burn this way. Now we just need to wait until our speed is above 2 km per second. Then we can stop burning. Let's see, where is the moon? It's over there. We need to burn then when we're coming around this way and just burn towards the moon. The funny thing is that works for some reason. I actually don't know the specific and orbit orbital mechanics, but that seems to work, so why not? Okay, let's see. We're doing better now than the last one, I think. Okay, we're running out at the last tank of fuel from this stage. And I hope to get into orbit. Let's just cut the power and warp towards the highest point. I'm not gonna do the science experiments this time, just gonna wait until we get into the moon orbit. At least today or this time we've got 11 days worth of food and supplies. Orbits. Nice. Okay, we are in a stable orbit. Let me raise it a little to a 100 by 100 at the highest point. Okay, let's turn around. It's going a little slow. How much fuel do we have left? Where's our ship? Oh, here it is. It's dark. No, 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 other side. For some reason, it turned, turned us back the way we were. So I think this is uh, around 30 seconds of fuel maximum at full power. So let's just put in a maneuver node, and we need to, I think, around here start burning towards the moon oops that's too much and we had one encounter here let's see ah there it is i tr i'm trying to go for a re free return trajectory if i remember this correctly which is a pass fly by the moon and go back directly into orbit or into a uh, the atmosphere of Kerbin. Something like this. Let's see. And yeah, that's good actually. Let's see if we can get it a little better. Around this, yeah. And we got an altitude of 190 at the highest point or the lowest point of the moon. So I'm gonna do this burn and I hopefully we'll get it right. Um, hey, I'm missing one icon here. Apparently, I 
think I felt I installed a Kerbal alarm clock, which should be here, but it didn't. So apparently something is wrong. I haven't got all the things working at the moment. Also, the B9 Aerospace mod isn't working. Uh, and I don't know why I can't get it to work, so I will just need to wait. Um, also, the, a new patch is coming soon. The 1.23 uh, patch. I'm not going to install that yet. Until the mods are all updated or up to date. Okay, I'm gonna want to start burning at the one minute mark because I think we'll we won't need 35 seconds to burn, but a lot more because we need to stage halfway through. So let's get us to the nodes, which is over here almost, and keep it there. And I'm gonna burn in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's going pretty, pretty good. And stage. We need one more minute of burning, and I need to turtle down to 80% because otherwise we'll be way too early. We're actually doing very good on power. We got, wow, more power than food. Well, that's good. Actually, we can transmit, do one of these observations, and send it back home. It will cost a lot of power, but we've got power for days. Oh, that's five science, that's nice. Let's see how our orbit is going at the moment. Let's just power down to 50% because we're now at a node and now going up in time. And it's the best to burn uh, halfway before, halfway after, but we burned a little too soon, so. Oh well, we'll be fine. As long as we get a free return tra tra trajectory, it will be fine, I think. Okay, we're almost there. Tottering down more. And stop. A little more. No, a little less. Okay. Let's just go a little little faster or slower 61 okay let's remove the note 61 no no not yet not yet we actually got enough fuel to do a lot but that's nice 27 kilometers when we return okay well that's nice so let's get to a uh, let's just point north because that's the best way of pointing sometimes North nice, okay Let's uh, warp up and do a science experiment halfway and almost at the encounter and leave No, let's do one high up Be right before we encounter so we can get some science from there because I think That's a different place Ah, ooh, the speed, 1,000 times. Okay, I think we're high up enough for a science goo experiment. 10 science. The goo feels right at home here. Well, oh, that's good. Space high above orbit. Or cabin. Let's do an EVA report. Crew report, we can only store one of them, so I'm gonna wait for them until we go get a little low above the moon and there is the moon okay i 
think we are almost at plane change. Whoa. I think I timed that right. We have changed the planes. Okay. Let's slow down time and see about another experiment. Uh, this is the next one. Fruity science in the space high above the moon. That's nice. So I guess we can do another one halfway through and one at low. So let's wait until we get into the 900s and see about getting another experiment going there. Actually, I think we even could have landed with uh, the amount of power etc. we had, but I wasn't sure. So uh, I didn't try that right away, but next episode when we got a little solar panel going, we can uh, definitely try landing on the moon. Getting to the moon isn't a very big problem. The problem is getting out of there. Uh, space high above curling, still the same biome. Let's not do that. Let's wait a little longer. Maybe 700. Maybe here. Space high above. No, still not yet. Let's do an EVA report actually. Almost forgot that one. Space high above. 24 more science. That's nice. Okay, let's wait a little. Go into the 300s. Maybe 5 is also nice. Let's see. Space high above. Nope, still the same biome. Every biome gives a new set of signs for all the experiments. So... If you do them as spread out as possible, it's better. Wow, 75 signs from this one. Maybe I should have put more of these up on. I could have done it actually. Was still high above? Yep, still high above. Okay, let's go to 100. And 50 should be nice here. Uh, reset container. This one is new. Space high above. Oh well. Let's just wait for a low curve or low orbit. Uh, we are almost actually at the lowest point, 60 kilometers. That's pretty nice actually. And we do not see the sun anymore. Let's see about getting another EVA report. Maybe this one is different. Space high over and it wants to reset it. Okay, too bad. Okay, we are in a hundred kilometer range. Maybe this is a new one. Not sure where they are, but I'm well, at least trying something. Let's go to the lowest, lowest point. We're 20 seconds out. Let's see about here. Space near moon. Yeah, we got a new one. Nice. This is also the lowest point, so I'm gonna do all the science experiments here. Also the, the material bay. 75 science, that's pretty nice. Okay, and now we got one left. One science container, I think. Yeah, this one. It's pretty difficult to see, but I hope it's enough. I'm just gonna do that one. And now we can warp all the way back to Kerbin. Bye, Moon. See you later in the next episode. I hope. Meow. Going with the speed of light, almost. Nah, actually not. Okay, we are almost getting into orbit and we are above the desert. And I don't, didn't think we got that one yet, so... Desert! Ah, more science! All for great science! Nope, we need to put, go this way. Actually, I need to stage. And we need to start pointing us into the right direction. Also gonna deploy... Oh, wait a sec, wait a sec. Deploy this shoot just in case. And now we will just let 
the aerodynamics of the world do their work. I'm gonna change my camera to auto. Why didn't I have it at auto already? I don't know. And now we're just gonna wait. The ablative heat shield is working. Let's see about the temperatures. If they're good. That one is rising. That one is rising a little. Not too much. That one isn't rising. That one is still cold. Uh oh. Oh wow. That was the our orbital stage. It's getting burned up. Wow, oh, one is actually still alive. Why is that engine not burning up? I think that the thing we that exploded actually was the uh, how is it called? But did explode? Parachute exploded. Okay. The thing that actually burned up were the power modules. It's actually getting, still getting close. 150 meters away. It's pretty nice actually. Phew, okay. Okay. We're at 15 minutes, 15 uh, kilometers. We're getting a little high speed effects. Currently traveling at Mark 2.2. And we're going to land in the ocean. Did we do all the experiments actually? Yep, we did it, okay. Gonna deploy the chutes when we are below uh, or at subsonic speeds. Because we're going, if you're going too fast, I'm afraid we will break apart. So uh, that's not good. We're at subsonic speeds, going 280. I'm gonna deploy the chutes at 200 meters per second. Or maybe not, because we're getting pretty close. Four kilometers, deploying chutes. I think if you just deploy the chutes when we're at subsonic, so at Mach 0.9, it would be fine. But I want to be sure. Okay, hopefully the this one will survive the impact. We've got still the heat shield, so it should it absorb the impact. But this one is pretty fragile. It's breaking very fast at any time. And splash down for the other one. Can we do an EVA report now? A new one? Just try. Because we can. Ah, uh, no. Not the new one. <laughs> oh. Electric charge depleted. Okay. No worries. 100 meters. 80 meters. 50 meters. 30. 25. 10. And splash down. Oh, oh, oh. All good, all good. No further explosions. Let's recover the craft and see how much science we got. We. Wow, we gathered a total of 241 science. That's nice. With the biggest, of course, the material based study, or the material study. Okay, well, with this, we can do a lot of science. We can at least get our photo photelic panels. And of course, we can go for even more, like this one, these ones, and even some inline radiators, which are heat radiators. Okay. That's one which comes with the interstellar pack, and I have never used those. But I thought we needed those to radiate the heat, which are produced by uh, photonic panels. When you do not use the charge they, they uh, produce. So, not really sure. But we got 172 science left, so let's see what we can do with it. 
With this one we also got another battery. Uh, I'd like to see about getting some more stability. Ooh, a drone. Ooh, I'd like to mess around with drones. Also I think I'm going for this one because we get the bigger fuel tank and another stuff. And with this one I can make by very standard rocket system. Also I'd like the radial decouplers. And even more radial decouplers. So that's the tech tree for today. And this will also be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really did. Uh, oh wow. These are really large tanks. I like it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like on it if you do. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.